Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make a crossover cable. Now like last time uh, you will need a cable, RJ45 is some tools, and we'll need a tester. Uh, so it, on my last two videos I, I, I went through and I made I made some straight through cables. So the first one was uh, standard T-568B and the other one was uh, standard uh, A. So when we're going to be doing a crossover, we're actually going to be using um, standard B and standard A right here. So to show you, let me go ahead and grab some of these cables that I made. So there we go. So as you can see on this one right here, it's actually standard B. So as you can see, pin one and two, which would be over here on this side, are actually white, orange, and then orange. And here is it starts with the green pairs so it would be white green and then green so this would be standard a so that's exactly what we're going to do uh, on this cable we're just basically going to you know uh go ahead and b and a now uh you you really will see this i mean you won't see this if you know just if you're just at home but you will see this on the in, out in the enterprise so, uh, you know, I'll, I'll give you some examples, you know, it's like you'll, you'll be using the crossover cable um, mostly when you're connecting a switch to switch, a hub to a hub, a host to a host, and a hub to a switch, or a router to, uh, to a host. So you'll be using the crossover. You really won't see it that much uh, at home, or even if you try finding it, let's just say, you know, Best Buy or... Or any of these places, or even Walmart, you know, you, you'll most likely find just a straight through, which would be uh, standard uh, T-568B. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go right ahead and, um, you know, term, you know, just basically uh, terminate these two uh, sides, and we'll see in a little bit. So, alrighty, and welcome back. So as you can see, I already have uh, the two. Uh, the two connectors already connected. So this is standard B. As you can see, it starts with uh, white, orange, and then orange. And this is standard A, which we'll is start with uh, the green. So, all right, so let's go right ahead and test this out. And I want to, I want you to see exactly what's going to happen here on the tester. All right, so I'll go ahead and connect it here, connect the other one here, and let's see what happens. So we'll just wait until it goes through. So as you can see that right here, it's just going down the list. And this is actually a uh, standard B. This is standard A. So if you can see, you know, there's, it, it kind of, it doesn't go down the list of numbers. It kind of like starts jumping, you know, jumping around. So to verify that it is cor uh, correctly uh, terminated, the number sequence would be three, six, one, four, five, two, seven, and eight. So what it'll be, it's, um, it'll be from standard B instead of being, you know, in, um, in cables one and two in standard A, it's, they're actually in three and six and three and six are actually in one and two. So as long as you just know, it's like, you know, on this end, everything's going to go straight from one to eight over here. It's actually going to go from three, six, one, four, five, two, seven, and eight. So as long as you know that, you know, it's, it's going in that direction, you, you'll be, you'll be just fine. You'll know that it's actually, um, it's actually, the cable is actually working. So, uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's basically it. That's how you basically, uh, create, um, a crossover cable. So like always, I hope you enjoyed the video and, uh, we'll catch you on the next one.